All right, and time for part two of my little tutorial thing that I'm doing for Terra Firmacraft before we start the new world. It's time to come back and do some armor smithing. Now, between metallurgy and armor smithing, I think those are probably the two most obscure parts of Terra Firmacraft. It's the stuff that most Let's Plays on Terra Firmacraft don't get around to touching on because by the time you get around to that, you've spent forever playing, and some with with the server updates and the terraformer craft updates and all the new features coming out some let's plays just never quite get that far so let's go ahead and touch on armor materials now armor materials all start with double ingots which you get from taking a regular ingot and welding it into a 2x ingot now what that's going to give you once you get that heated up to the point that it can be worked is that's going to give you a sheet. Now a 2x ingot becomes a 1x sheet. There are also 2x sheets that are used for some of the patterns. You can see I have two sheets for each one of these things. That's because these have to be done in two stages. The first stage requires the sheet here on the left. The helmet requires a 1x sheet. The chest plate takes a 2x. The plate greaves takes a 2x, and the plate boots takes a 1x. As soon as this heats up to the point that I can work it, there we go, we're going to make ourselves a plate helmet. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do, let's do a plate helmet. You take this ingot, you throw it up here, and it's going to give you some rules. Hit, hit, hit. So we're just going to, you know, do what we need to do. That's going to give us our blue steel sheet. We are going to, first of all, let's come over here and grab another sheet and get that on the fire, because we're going to need that to be hot, hot, hot. We're going to take our plate helmet plan and put that up there with our steel sheet. Now, if it was a chest plate or greaves, you'd have to use a 2x sheet for this. With the helmet and the boots, you'll need a 1x. You can see we have rules. Bend, bend, hit have to be the last thing, last three things we do. So let's go ahead and just bend this out. And light hit, light hit. Oh, nope, has to be two bends and then a hit. So let's do a heavy hit and bend, 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 hit. Now. You can see that when I ended that, I wasn't anywhere near the red arrow. But there's no durability here. That's because this is an unfinished blue steel helmet stage one. Now, in order to work this any further, we have to add some more metal to it. We do that with the blue steel sheet here that we're heating up. So let's go ahead and work the bellows. I swear, Terraformer Craft Metallurgy is almost easier on multiplayer servers because then you can have two people working together. You can have the blacksmith and then you can have his assistant. The assistant just works the bellows and the blacksmith actually does the work. What do we got going on here? Bright red and white. So we're going to take that out. That's hot enough to weld now. And just keep work in the bellows throw some more coal on there we're at orange too I think it has to be white one in order to work well not in order to work but in order to weld so it's getting there you can see I'm already wearing a full set of this stuff I had actually already done this but I had a bad audio desync, so I'm re-recording. And, I mean, the process for all of the different armors is exactly the same. So, there we go. We'll come over here and we'll put the flux on there. We'll weld these two together. That's going to give us an unfinished blue steel helmet stage 2. Now we take that, we throw that on the anvil. Notice we don't have to use the plans for the stage two. You only use the plans during stage one. 
and we're going to have rolls again. Ben, Ben, hit. So, bend, bend, and if we do a heavy hit right here, it's going to finish the helmet. It's not going to be close to the red arrow. So, oh, actually, that was perfect. Wow. Hmm. Did better than I thought. I didn't think that was going to work out so well. So, yeah, that's a perfect blue steel helmet. But, yeah, the, the process for all of the different armors is exactly the same. With the chest plate, you heat this up until it's workable. You work it into an unfinished chest plate stage one. You heat that and this up until it's white hot. Weld them together, or whatever the welding temperature is. It's not necessarily white hot for all metals. But you weld those together to get the unfinished stage two, and then you work the stage two out to be the actual finished piece. The stage one, it doesn't matter how good your blacksmithing is, as long as you get close, you're fine. The stage two is where the quality of your blacksmithing counts. The closer your little red arrow is, and the green arrow when you're done, the better your piece is going to be. And apparently I don't know how far a large or a heavy hit moves, because I usually use light hits to finish things off, but whatever. Anyway, hopefully between this and the metallurgy one that I just did, I've covered a couple of the more obscure points of Terra Firmacraft, the stuff that isn't usually heavily covered during tutorials or Let's Plays. So hopefully for anyone out there who's been having trouble with metallurgy, making the higher end steels or having trouble with uh, forging armor in general, hopefully this will give you a little bit of a heads up on the process and might make things a little bit easier for you so you can protect yourself against all of the nastiness out there and the nastiness that may be coming in the future. This has been Night Dagger with a tutorial series on Terra Firmacraft. I'll catch you guys next time.